welcome back, and this is Building a Better Buzz Part 2. So last time we worked using the hand as a monitor, and this time we're going to develop that set. So what's going to happen here, all you're going to need is your mouthpiece. So we start out, and what we're going to do is just get a feel for good, easy airflow against the hands. So you take a big breath, and go... Focus on having cold air hitting the hand, similar to buzzing number one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the first video. So once we do a few repetitions to get feel for easy air, take the mouthpiece and put it backwards. What we do is then we're going to, we look at the mouthpiece, we're going to squeeze the lips around it to engage the center while thinking of the word mmm. So mouthpiece goes in between the lips, squeeze it together, corners mmm. Same thing, blowing air to the hand, emphasizing how easy that air feels. Next thing, turn the mouthpiece around, just blow again, easy air. Always trying to recreate how the last one felt. On the final time, similar step to building a better buzz one, where we slowly bring the buzz together. So we go. And there you go. Four steps, another quick exercise for building a better buzz. Main points for it, cold, fast air trying to find ease and a relaxed buzz without forcing things as well getting good engagement from the corners and a little bit of the chin like subscribe all those things if you have a favorite buzzing exercise let me know what it is i i love to add to it i think we'll do one or two more building a better buzz and then we'll go from there thanks